First, you might know this from uh, forum culture. So, the ailing music industry is dependent on a consistent stream of chatter channeled by poorly paid journalists with the majority using other blogs and Twitter to source their content in a race to be first to a story. So publications, many of you probably know this, make money from selling advertisements off the back of freely distributed content. So that magazine that you like gets artists to give them stuff for free and then they sell ads to Nike and they ship podcasts. Most of them run off the fact that they get a hundred thousand podcasts. That article, that review, like ten people read it. Um, so these advertisements are solicited through drawing the attention of a hyper-attentive audience as often as possible throughout a 24-hour cycle, meaning the demand for new content is high and the publication must be first in order to gain competitive advantage over its rivals. The message from these publications is clear. It's better to be fast than last. This bottom-up supply chain provides an opportunity for the tricky artist to direct conversations and plant memes with their primary weapon being that of speed and the ability to sketch and collect concepts rapidly. This might bring some people to mind and again this is not a criticism I think it's kind of wonderful um, so yeah so the demand from industry is clear we want content first not necessarily content best so the challenge of the producers is to produce the best, fastest content one can and regularly in order to maintain and build status within this climate. Best in many ways represents an outmoded practice that requires a lengthier and more considered critical qualification, which is ill supported by shifting industry practices. They don't want to know. They don't know, basically. So, the most observant of us will know that the title of best is often awarded upon the success.
successful accumulation of a number of firsts throughout the publishing year, consummated by the totemic best of year lists. They don't really have this in visual art, I hope that they do in music and it's insane. Which, which most clearly articulate the financial bottom line behind contemporary cultural journalism. Make it slick, clickable, shareable, multi-page, and free. Free.
Whoa! 